In this video, we'll demonstrate how to transfer an individual from a wheelchair to a cot using a squat pivot technique. Hello, I'm Natalie Albertson with the Division of Physical Therapy Education at the University of Nebraska Medical Center. Welcome to the training series for volunteers in disaster shelters. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to transfer an individual from a wheelchair to a cot using a squat pivot technique. This technique may be useful for people who have weakness in their legs, which prevents them from standing. Begin by asking the individual if she has a stronger side. If so, it is often easiest to transfer toward that side. Position the wheelchair so the individual's stronger side is closest to the cot. If the individual does not have a stronger side, it doesn't matter which side is closest to the cot. Position the wheelchair several inches from the side of the cot. Swing the foot rests away on both sides. Then remove the foot rest from the side closest to the cot and place it somewhere where it will be out of the way during the transfer. Move the wheelchair as close to the cot as possible and at a slight angle. Finally, securely apply the wheel locks. Fasten a gate belt low and tight around the individual's waist. Ask the individual to scoot forward in the wheelchair using the armrests for support. Provide assistance at her hips if needed. When the individual is positioned at the front of the seat, ask them to make sure their feet are placed flat on the ground. Swing away or remove the armrest from the side closest to the cot. You should then position yourself in front of the individual, placing your feet shoulder width apart to give you a wide base of support. One foot should be placed slightly behind the other. It is advisable to block the individual's knee if she has a weaker side. A knee can be blocked by placing your foot to the outside of her foot on the weaker leg and placing your leg across her upper shin. You should maintain contact with her shin as you move the patient to the cot. Have the individual lean forward and away from the cot. This will seem backwards, but will actually help unweight her hips and pivot towards the cot. Position yourself very close to the individual in order to avoid straining or injury. Instruct the individual to push through her arms using the remaining armrest and use her legs as much as possible to help you move during the transfer. With a firm hold on the gate belt, shift your weight onto your back foot and lift the individual upward and forward so her hips just barely lift off the wheelchair. Pivot to move the individual towards the cot. When rotating the individual towards the cot, make sure to rotate with your entire body. Rotating using just your back and trunk is likely to cause injury and should not be done. It is often helpful to say, ready, set, lift, or one, two, three, so that you and the individual move in coordination. Remember to bend with your hips and knees and maintain the natural curves in your back while performing this transfer, especially given the low height of the cot. Once the individual is on the cot, remove the gate belt and check to make sure she is comfortable. Finally, replace the footrest and armrest on the wheelchair. Thank you for joining us. We hope that you find these techniques helpful as you provide assistance to those who need help with transfers. Mm -hmm.